Hey guys, it's Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So today I've got something a little different. Um, what I am doing is for a contest and this contest is by the lovely I Do Hair, I Do Nails here on uh, YouTube and I will pop her name up here and I'll also link her channel below in the description box if you would like to go check her out. She holds like a monthly nail art kind of contest and she wears press on nails and she sizes them out and sends you the nails and then you design them and out of all the people who enter um, she posts I believe on Facebook maybe Instagram too and then I guess whoever gets the most likes or whichever one is the most popular that one is the winner so this month for July the theme is unicorn and so I'm so excited to do this I've never done anything quite like this before so here's the cute little box she sent her nails in and I have popped them here on some orange wood sticks with some poster tack and then that way I'll be able to work on them a little bit easier so I've got a few items out here and got some crystals and some pretty glitters um some hollow powder some more pretty glitters and when i think of unicorn um sometimes unicorn and mermaid get put kind of in the same category and when i think of unicorn versus mermaid i think unicorn more of an iridescent pinky purpley kind of look and when I think mermaid, I think more of a like deep toned, like dark purple and teal kind of colors. Still both very beautiful and glittery, but just a little different um, on the tone side. Uh, so I think more iridescent and, and light colored when I think unicorn stuff. So that's kind of the palette I'm working with. I've got some mylar here or angel paper. This actually, I believe, came in a kit that's supposed to be foil. Now some of the stuff that came in the kit actually works as foil and some of it doesn't. This is very odd because the back of it is like this and this is also the same stuff that came in the same kit with it and you can see it's completely transparent but it's pink but you can see through it. This is basically the same thing but it's not when you use this one. This one doesn't work as foil at all because it's transparent I don't know <laughs> but this one when you put it on the nail with the foil glue all that transfers is this light pink color this gorgeous iridescent multi shifty color it doesn't come through at all so this stuff is basically mylar slash angel paper and that is what I use it for so we're gonna use some of that in this design and I'm gonna stop rambling and just get started and put some music on and fast forward and let you guys watch me create these nails so I hope you enjoy See you later. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm coming on with a voiceover here for you. I thought that maybe um, doing a little bit of an explanation, walkthrough kind of thing as I do the nails might be helpful. And, you know, that way I can hopefully answer some questions that you might be having as you watch the video. So, here we go. <laughs> Sorry it's a long one, guys. Um, so basically on all the nails I put this color down, it's a regular nail polish, and then I let that sit and dry really good because we're going to go over everything pretty much with gel. Um, so all the nails except for the thumbnail, which you see me doing here, got that polish, which is such a beautiful light pink sparkly polish. It's absolutely perfect for the base for these nails. I loved it. So okay, these are the thumbnails. and. They are getting a beautiful light purple from Madame Glam. And then we are going in with some hollow powder. And now this is the hollow powder from Elite 99, which I think I did not get an Elite 99 powder from some of the comments you all gave me saying that um, you've ordered some and the packaging was different. I think I got something from Born Pretty, a little lower quality. Anyways. I am figured out a way to make it work. You just have to put it in a super tacky layer, uh, inhibition layer, and then it works beautifully like you've seen me do there. So I am just top coating that to seal it in. I think at this point I wasn't sure what I was going to do next. <laughs> and that's kind of how this set went. But 
it, they turned out so pretty in the end. Um, so I am going in with my builder gel now, putting down a nice uh, thin layer. I'm going to leave that uncured, and then we're going to go straight in with this beautiful glitter. And it just gives it a little bit more dimension, and it's absolutely stunning. I love it. I love how these turned out. So I'm just tapping that down so they'll lay flat. I'm going to cure that, encapsulate with the clear gel, file it smooth, and then top coat. And then thumbnails will be done. So it was really hard for me, guys, to send these nails back to her. I love them so much. They were gorgeous. If they would have fit my nails, I would have probably kept them. They were just so pretty. And I really hope she loves them. I'm going to have all the information in the description box below for you guys to go check out where you can vote. Please go vote for me. I just really want to win so bad. Um, the prize has absolutely nothing to do with it. I just want to win because I, I love these nails and I put a lot into them and I had a lot of fun making them. So yeah, please go vote for me. <laughs> um, okay, this is the pinky nail. This is my favorite. Absolutely beautiful. So you've seen me put some gel down, then I sprinkled in glitter, and I cured that. Now I am encapsulating that glitter with a layer of builder gel. So I put a thin layer of builder gel down, then leave that uncured, um, go in and build up the structure of the nail just a little bit. These don't need much, they're just press on nails. So right when I get that, uh, when I get the shape of that, sorry guys, um, where I want it, I've got the gels nicely laid. Um, I'm going in with a no wipe top coat right over that uncured gel, just real lightly. This is really sped up, so it's a lot gentler than it looks. <laughs> um, and then over top of that, I am sprinkling on these gorgeous, like, it's like a crystal pixie, but it's not the Swarovski. It's a off-brand. They're just stunning, you guys. I love these so much. Um, I do it this way. You go with your builder gel, then you go with your top coat, your no wipe top coat, and then you push your crystals in, and then you cure it, and then this way it's got that nice thick builder gel layer to hold those in, and the no wipe top coat makes it so it's not sticky. So you don't have to worry about getting any fuzz in there trying to wipe it off or anything like that. So it's a really good technique. Um, a lot of other girls use that. I did not invent that technique. I have seen other people do that. So just so you know. And this nail right here is, I believe, the middle finger. And I am just going in with some more glitter. And it's absolutely beautiful. I love this glitter and then sealing that in and then I believe we're gonna go in with some little yeah some mylar flakies and put those all over the nail we're gonna do the same with this as the glitter once I get everything placed on there I'm gonna make sure it's nice and flat cure it then I'm going to encapsulate with gel file it smooth and top coat and then that one's done. Um, I do go in and put a bunch of bling on some of the nails. I didn't record that but I do have pictures for you at the end. Um, the bling just really makes them so pretty. Uh, and the very last nail I did which was the ring finger, that's the unicorn horn. I apologize guys, I don't know what happened. I either stopped recording or I lost some footage. Something happened and I don't have me doing the full nail but it's, you're not really missing too much. Just go in with your gel um, and do your, your lines. Flash cure, and then, you know, that's pretty much it. Top coat, and you're done with that. It was It's just really simple. So I've got the main part in there. So I'm sorry that I didn't get the whole thing recorded, but I think you get the gist of it. Um, okay, so this nail, this is either the middle or the index finger, you guys. I really don't know. <laughs> I was jumping all over the place. I'm using my full uh, Mylar Angel Paper design, and I go in with foil glue first, and it makes the nail so super sticky that this stuff sticks down so good, and it, it makes it so much easier to do like a full nail like this. 
and then I just trimming around the edges. This is way easier to do on a fake nail than it is on yourself. This is what I did on the nails I'm wearing right now um, on both of my uh, ring fingers and it's way easier to do on a fake nail than yourself because of the trimming. But I get all the edges sealed down really good with gel. We're going to cure this and then same thing. Once you get it encapsulated, you want to make sure it's filed smooth and then top coat. Now, I believe this is the nail that got a lot of the bling and it turned out really pretty. This was probably my second favorite next to the pinky. <laughs> Okay guys, this is the last nail. This I believe is the ring finger, the unicorn horn itself. And I just am going over that beautiful polish color with some hollow. Um, this made the perfect background. I did some Sharpie work on it and I just I really loved how this turned out this is really easy to do and you get a great effect on it um, now my video here is paused on me I don't know what's going on while I'm doing my voiceover hopefully I can get that fixed uh, hopefully the voiceover is not off because I don't want to redo it ah, sorry guys having some editing issues okay here we go <laughs> so the hollow was top coated and that's all sealed in uh, sticky layer removed and I'm just going in with some sharpie markers and you really don't have to be precise on this at all the design I ended up going with um, I was gonna do it like in a stripe type pattern but then I ended up doing it more splotchy kind of all over the place and it just gave a really pretty background for the unicorn horn so you know just put your colors down and then you want to take some um, isopropyl alcohol or like a gel residue wipe off solution kind of thing and that will do the same effect and then I'm just dabbing it on there and wiping off my brush in between making sure there's not too much alcohol on there you don't want it to run everywhere but you know you just do this till you get the effect you like and I just kind of kept messing with it until I got it where I wanted it and then once that is completely dry, you can either top coat or you can go straight in right here. I don't believe I top coated. I'm just going straight in with my lines and that is it. It cuts off right here, guys. Again, I'm so sorry that I didn't get the full thing recorded, but it's just this exact thing over and over again. <laughs> Flash cure in between each line or every other line. And there you go. And that's the finished nails. I hope you guys love them as much as I love them. They were so hard to photograph. I'm so sorry I couldn't get a good picture and they look really yellow. I was getting a bad yellow cast on it and I just, I couldn't get it quite right. But they're stunning and the pictures have the bling on it, which makes them even more stunning. So, oh, I love them so much. So those are my unicorn nails for the competition and please go vote for me. I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye!